And then there is the continued questions about Epstein's life. But Epstein's dead. His madam is in jail. As far as we know, there are no ongoing criminal investigations. Yet, unlike almost any other case in human history, so much remains secret. That is not normal. Of course, the media jumps on all the big names, like the story today that Virginia Gouffrey partied with Heidi Klum. Who knows if that's true? And that Bill Clinton visited Epstein's islands. Again, who knows? Clinton denies he ever went to the island. But the new pictures show young women brought there. And perhaps most importantly, we still don't know where Epstein got the money to do it all. With us now, Jeffrey Epstein's brother, Mark. Nice to talk to you, sir. We appreciate the time. I, I know you have said, and we have listed uh, the irregularity, shall we say, if we want to use that term generously, uh, involving your brother's death. You say you want more of an investigation. Is that because you believe there are more irregularities or because you believe that the irregularities point to the possibility that your brother was killed? Yeah, well, the, first of all, you're saying an investigation. It doesn't seem to have been much of an investigation at all. That's the real question, because things like the EMT and the medical personnel at the hospital, none of them have ever been questioned. And they have found that to be odd, because they're always questioned, especially in high-profile cases. You know, so the question becomes, what investigation was done? It doesn't seem to have been any, because the pathologist that did the autopsy, the city pathologist, and Dr. Bodden, who I had there, they both came out of the autopsy saying they could not call it a suicide because it appeared too much like a homicide. There are a number of reasons why. And then, uh, so on the initial death certificate, the cause of death said pending, meaning pending further investigation. Now, supposedly, when it says pending further investigation, it takes weeks to come up with a determination. But yet, a few days later, Attorney General Barr says it's a Suicide, and it wasn't really his position to do that. And then the medical examiner. Well, we have we have that soundbite. Let me let me play it from you from then Attorney General Bill Barr. Please do. I was appalled, and indeed the whole department was. We are now learning of serious irregularities at this facility that are deeply concerning, and demand a thorough investigation. Then he told the Associated Press that the case involved, quote, a perfect storm, in his words, of screw-ups. Do you believe him that this was merely screw-ups? No, I don't. Yes, there were screw-ups, but that doesn't mean that my brother was, you know, committed suicide because of screw-ups. There's a lot of reasons, there's a number of reasons why he would not commit suicide then. You know, like what? You know, for, well, for instance, uh, when, when he was first arrested, his attorneys called and asked me if I would participate in his bail. So I said, sure. I said, put up my house in Florida for bail, thinking maybe he'd get bail. But we, we know bail was denied. Uh, but then they went, they were going to appeal the bail decision. And Jeff was putting up a very large bail. And his attorneys asked me if I would guarantee his entire bail, in essence, doubling it. And I agreed. And he and it would have been the highest bail in U.S. history at that point in time. I googled. What it was the number? Out. Well, the highest bail in U.S. history at that point in time was a hundred million dollars. Okay, and uh, I don't remember the exact number, but this would have been somewhere approximately, I think, one hundred and sixty million dollars. We know that Ghislaine Maxwell's in jail. We know that your yes. brother is dead. But there are so many unanswered questions here. If you and your suspicions are correct that something else other than suicide happened to your brother, there was a reason for it. And I'm wondering, we know so much or so little, whatever you want to say, about his death. What's being covered up about his life and who would want him dead and why? Well, he had, he had dirt on people. He told me, like, I, it's been out there that in 2016 he said he had dirt on the then presidential candidates. He didn't tell me what that dirt was, and I don't know. And I wasn't involved with his day-to-day -day life, so I don't know what he knows. But to go back to your initial question, uh, why, I mean, you'd, you'd have to ask Bill Barr, if he was covering this up, which it appears to be, who was he covering it up for? Who was Bill Barr protecting? There's very few people who knew him the way you did, and you hear all these allegations that he was providing women 
uh, some of age, some not of age, to other men to compromise them. Uh, there's allegations of videotapes that have been recanted on and on and on. But does all that surprise you? Or you hear about that and you kind of go, gee, there was always something about him that, that is a brother. You go, that kind of makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense to me. I think he was just, like you said, he was just having a good time. Jeffrey liked to have a good time. And unfortunately, he chose there's, to do it with well, Hold on. There, there's, a, I, there's a big difference, though, between I having— there. I wasn't there. So you're asking me to speculate, and I really don't want to speculate because I wasn't there. Okay. Uh, and look, I wouldn't want to know this. I don't have a brother, but I wouldn't want to know this about anybody I loved. I mean, the, the allegations are, are frankly revolting. When you, when you hear about what your brother is accused of doing. On, on a personal level, I know this would be hard to hear about a, a family member. So I, I appreciate you being willing to discuss it with us. Um, and like you, um, I think there's a lot of people who want more answers. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.